well, I don't know why. I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars review for 2020, and this one is on the Dual Arm Mustafar set. So on the front of the box here, you see the same border as we've seen since the start of 2019, of course. Probably carry on until, like, summer 2020. Who knows? And then got the whole set in action, and also the two mini figs include with it. Disney logo, and age recommendation 7 and up. Set number 75269 has 208 pieces. And then flip the back to see. Uh, it in another position and all the features of it and uh, yeah and on to the instruction booklet same pictures on the front and everything on the back how to win on the online survey all the pieces that come with the set of course after the skywalker saga game and after the other 2020 sets I expect reviews for those two pretty soon in the path for Lego life and the last steps. So for our mini things. First of which is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or young Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now his torso print looks really good. And as he's wielding the blue lightsaber and the face print of which well suiting to this scene. Well, once he gets to the foregrounds, uh, and yeah. All the hair piece of which, same, it's been for a while, often used in the Clone Wars ones. And there's his back torso print, also done quite well. And there's his double side face looking a little ticked off, and yeah. To the, one of the main parts of this set is updated version of Episode 3 Anakin Skywalker. It is his torso print, which looks pretty cool. Like, has all the robes with some tatters and everything. Well suited to this scene. So. And the hair piece of it, same as it's been for a while, as well as in the Clone Wars line. And of course, wielding the blue lightsaber, of course. But also for his main face print, which with the yellow eye kind of effect to it. Of which perfectly suiting to this scene. And let's turn over, and there's his back printing, also done quite well. -y. And there's his double side face, also well suiting to the scene. And now onto the main build of it, which is that of Mustafar itself. Although kind of reminiscent of last year's Duel on Starkiller base one, as in with the swivel effect to it, but also it's it, unlike with that one, it has two parts where you can clip it in. Both on here, like this, or clipped together like that. So, for this one end of it, which does have the little tower, which that uh, tends to drop down quite easily since it's on a single Technic pin. And as you see, but also, it does have some good shaping to it with the sloping, and also the good use of these helicopter blade pieces. But although can like put your mini figs onto it for some parts of the sequence, and as you see, one is translucent orange, as suiting to the lava effect. You see a lot of like like red to it. Although it would have been nice if it was translucent red, which makes it feel like actual lava for it. But as for the other corner of it, with the jagged slopes and also a trans orange piece acting as a uh, lava fall to it. And it also does look like almost like actual stream of lava, right here, as well as a little bit of it with it spewing out. Yeah, so it's this area. This has some of some good sloping and as well as this part of it which is kind of like on a 
uh, Force Awakens set from 2016, where you can like push this in and studs fly out, and given the effect of lava spewing. But as for the main droids of it. Like one of which is just a simple plate and things around, as well as a little thing that has a tile on it that has a good print for whatever reason. Of which on the box cover to fit your Obi Wan figure on, and unlike with Star Killer Base one, they do slide back and forth, giving the effect of them like floating. And the other of which, also with the same kind of good shaping to it, and also a single stud with a jumper on top to fit your Anakin one on it. Although these two builds are which are kind of similar to the one that was in the Jedi Interceptor set in 2012, but at least you get it on an actual build rather than as two separate builds. Now you can like, like have it in either kind of ways, and let them find each other, kind of like Rock and Sock them. Uh, yeah. And so now on to with the final verdict. So overall verdict is that this I think a pretty cool set. This is pretty cool. Like, first time of having this set redone. Well, first time since the only time they did in 2005. Uh, and, and of course, even though this may be small and whatnot, but it's a good deal for the price. Like, plenty of good red pieces and good versions of Obi-Wan and Anakin. If you're looking to make a large Mustafar mock or whatever. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you adored this sequence in Revenge of the Sith, also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.